Good day, friends. Welcome to our today's lesson on basic science and technology. We are going to talk about you and technology, information and communication. Dr. Mrs. Chikeze Phoebe Amaka is my name. Lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, learners should be able to define technology, information, communication. They should be able to say where we find technology, enumerate benefits of technology, list products of technology, and explain the main meaning of ICT. Introduction. Technology is anything that people design to solve a problem. We live in the world of technology. All around us are things made by man that can solve the basic and other needs of man, such as food, shelter, clothing, information, communication, education, transportation, to mention a few. Technology has to do with wise work that has a scientific idea behind it. When you communicate, you tell someone something. You can do that through phone calls, text messages, sending pictures, and things like that. When you want to know more about something, you are looking for information. You can do that by searching through people's books or searching the internet. The internet is the greatest information and communication tool ever used by man. Definition of concepts. Many people have defined technology to mean so many things. But for the purpose of this lesson, we are going to define technology as anything created by man that makes life easy or solve problems for man. On the other hand, information is defined as the communication of knowledge, news, ideas or messages that may be unorganized and even unrelated. When you want to know more about something, you are looking for information. What is communication? Communication is that process of sending and receiving messages through verbal or non-verbal means. Communication means to share or exchange information views, thoughts, via different medium. It is a process of sending information to, from source to destination. When you communicate, you tell someone something and vice versa. It can be through phone calls, text messages, pictures, and so on. Where can one find technology? This is another question we need to entertain. We can find technology at home. We can find technology on the street and at school. Technology found in our homes are cell phones, televisions, computers, gas kicker, blender, juice machine, and a host of others. On the street, we can see cars, buses, trains, 
street lights, traffic lights, fear pump, and others. They are all technology on display. Technology found in our schools include computers, smart boards, tablets, and interactive class, ATC. What are the benefits of this technology? There are so many benefits of technology among the following. Technology saves time. It saves energy. It can improve the quality of human life because it can be used as a learning and education media. Technology can be used as a mass communication media in campaigning practical and important issues such as health and social networking. A person can learn by webinar or online and it saves time and energy. Products of technology. All that we have mentioned and listed that we found in ho at homes, on the street, and in the school. And the other things, other areas of life, like in the church, police stations, everywhere around, made by man, are all products of technology. ICT is another name that rings on one's ear in this generation. One may ask, what does ICT stand for? ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. ICT is an umbrella term that includes any communication device including radio, television broadcasting, cell phones, computer, networking, network hardware, satellite systems, and so on, as well as the various services and appliances with them, such as video conferencing and distance learning. In summary, therefore, when we mention technology, information, and communication, we are talking about ICT and all centers around communication. Communicating with computers has been the greatest thing that has happened to communities. One can now stay in his or her house and buy things. Teachers may not always stand before learners to deliver lessons. They can do that from their homes, especially in times of lockdown. It is now time for us to measure our understanding of this lesson. And I will leave you learners to answer the following question, even as we close. Define technology, information, communication. List at least five technology products known to you. What are the four benefits of technology or ICT? What does ICT stand for? We will come around some other time. Before then, have a nice time.